Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up, and today in this episode, we'll be talking about machine learning performance in the new MacBook Pro M1 Pro, along with that comparison to MacBook Air M1. So guys, we have done some benchmarks over here into the new machine and we have got some results that are pretty amazing by the way as it has been demanded by you. So many of you demanded for this one topic that was machine learning and the performance that the new MacBook Pro M1 Pro can provide to us for data science or any other purpose. So right now we have tested this for TensorFlow along with that we have also tested for CreateML which is used for creating models for machine learning. So firstly we use CreateML and the result that we got in both of the machines is really good and really amazing so first thing so into the create ml we tried to train the machine and try to create a model that was for image classification so the classification training was done for 14,000 images approximately with 100 iterations and all of the augmentations in which add noise blur crop expose flip and rotate was all selected so all the augmentations were selected and the result that we got in the MacBook Air M1 was 21 minutes with 97% of training accuracy and 94% validation. And the testing time that it took was 2 minutes and the GPU utilization on this machine was around 40 to 50 percent and the CPU utilization was around 25 to 30 percent not more than that so there was a huge difference huge gap remaining for CPU utilization and GPU utilization yet so this machine is by the way 8 gigabytes ram and it's just the base variant so in this the gpu is of 7 cores and the cpu is of 8 cores but still there was 50 percent gap remaining there was an idleness of 50 percent into the gpu so this machine was performing really good and we expected to go more further into the new macbook pro m1 pro but results really amazed us and this machine the training time that it took was 20 minutes it took 21 minutes and this was 20 minutes just in difference of one minute so we can clearly see that for the training of machine learning models both of the machines don't have a wide difference and there is not a big difference in it which we were expecting by the way and first time i thought that it is some due to some mistake but i tried to loop test it again and again when we tested again and again we got the same results in both of the machines so this took around 20 minutes with 97% of training accuracy and 94% of validation exactly the same results what we got into the MacBook Air M1 and the testing time was a little bit uh, faster onto this machine it took just one minute as compared to two minutes so we can say that there is a little bit of an more time saving done onto the testing part but over in all this the performance on both of the machines was exactly the same thing what we could get the CPU utilization on this machine was around 20 percent so because this is the macbook pro m1 pro so in this machine we have got 10 cpu cores so obviously there would be a little bit more advantage to the cpu so the utilization was around 20 percent and maximum sometimes it went around 25 percent and the gpu utilization was exactly the same as 40 percent 50 percent so in both of the machines it i just could not understand what was the reason that like in this machine we have got 16 cores of a gpu the utilization was around 40 percent i can see that perfectly but it took the same amount of time almost same amount of time as the macbook air m1 so there is no huge and big difference yet so we tried testing by the way for a benchmark model so the next benchmark that we used and that we tested in this both of the machine was for tensorflow so using tensorflow using some benchmark programs we tried to test in both of the machines and this result was a little bit more different than the previous one now we utilize the GPU power more into utilization. GPU was more into utilization. We used metal that allows us to use GPU to its fullest performance so that we can get much more better results when we are training. So right now we took a repository from github that is an cnn proposal benchmark so we took that repository and we tried to run in both of the machines and the result for tensorflow that we got was really good so in consideration to the macbook air m1 the epoch timing was 10 seconds per epoch as compared to that onto the new macbook pro with the m1 pro processor it took around 6 seconds. So 10 seconds and 6 seconds over here. The step timing into the MacBook Air M1 was 20 milliseconds per step and that into the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor was 
12 milliseconds per step so 20 milliseconds and 12 milliseconds there's a difference of 8 milliseconds per step and finally we turn out to the accuracy the maximum accuracy that we got into the m1 was 99.06 percent and that into the m1 pro was 99.88 percent so there was a greater efficiency into the m1 pro and the ram utilization on both of the machines was really great so the ram utilization in this machine was around six to seven gigabytes and onto this machine was around 11 to 12 gigabytes so there wasn't a big difference or there wasn't a big pressure made onto the ram but both of the machines stayed really calm really good but at the moment of the training the models for the data sets that we took in so at the time of training both of the machine went up to 100 percent of utilization of the gpu so the gpu utilization was completely at the 100 percent but there was still some space remaining into the cpu so there was approximately 70 percent of idleness in both of the machine so the cpu there was a huge amount there was a huge amount remaining if we can utilize that some or the other way we can get much more better results than what we have actually got so if you're considering tensorflow and using both of the machine using metal so that is used for gpu acceleration in both of the machines so that provides us 40 percent more faster results into the macbook pro with the m1 pro processor so m1 pro processor is 40 percent at least faster when we are training to the data sets and to the models so in that consideration we can say for like for developers or the data scientists who are working hugely onto huge data sets for them macbook pro m1 pro will be the one of the best choice to go with because it has got a much more powerful gpu as well as cpu so it can provide them faster times and by the way if you have any more questions related to machine learning or to data science please let us know that into the comment section down below and if you liked our video please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and meet you in the next episode till then goodbye